Good morning. I'm Pastor Jonathan Boynton, one of the pastors at Grace Lutheran Church in Winchester, Virginia. We come to you this morning with morning prayer. O oh Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. A reading from Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. I have become like one who does not hear, and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O God, Lord, I have fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. O Lord, do not forsake me, do not be in vain, or do not be far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In a reading from the book of John, actually the book of 1 John, the fourth chapter. Starting with the seventh verse. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we have boldness on the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he loved us first. Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love a God whom they have not seen. The commandment we have from him is this. Those who love God must love their brothers and sisters. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, loving others. We hear in this reading today that God is love. And God first loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for us. As we love God, we love neighbor. That's how that works. Love God, love neighbor. Loving neighbor is a way we love God. Let's continue in prayer. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you. Wherever he may send you, may he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. May the peace of Christ be with you all. I invite you to share that peace with those you encounter today. Amen. <laughs>